Oof, what a maneuver. Hey, my suitcase is here too. It must have got entangled in the chain. <laughs> Just like I planned. Yeah, I'm getting dirt between my teeth already. I better leave it closed for now. Ouch! The wire's cutting into my flesh. I need, uh, well, something like, uh, uh, um, has anyone here <laughs> got a bolt cutter? Why? Those are still good. It already has plenty of oil stains. I'll never be able to open it with that. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Not a chance. I'd need fingers like Wenzel's to reach into those cracks. As long as the hatch is closed, I can't put a sock in it. Yeah, I'm getting... I better leave it... A well-oiled gearbox. The maintenance arm's behind there. I'll save my telekinetic... I'll save... You don't play with... Unless it's really... Hey! Aggressive little bugger. Yeah, as long as it's active, I'll never be able to grab it. Hey! Aggressive little... Yeah, as long as... Why? You don't play... Unless it's really... I need fingers. Ugh, the arm is removing the nuts from the gearbox. Well, look at those shiny little teeth. You don't play unless it's really. No, oh, never. Why? Those. Hey! Aggressive little bugger. Yeah, as long as it's active, I'll never be able to grab it. It already has pl There's a mountain of chip. Reminds me of my ex. Yeah, I'm getting dirt between my, my better. You don't play with unless it's really fun.
Ouch! I'm not getting anywhere. I need a bolt cutter. I'm getting... I'd better leave it. Ah, the arm is removing the nuts from the gearbox. I guess someone has to do it. It already has plenty of oil stains. Aggressive little bugger. Yeah, as long as it's active, I'll never be able to grab it. Why? I'll save my telekinetic... I'll save my... 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 I need fingers like Wenzel's to reach into those cracks. Ah, the arm is removing the nuts from the gearbox. Well, look at those shiny little teeth. There's a shaft leading upward behind it. Oh, I'll never be able to open it. Are you suffering from vertigo, Ms. Gold? You should have stayed in your cabin. It was foolish of you to go against my orders. What? What's going on here, Bailiff? Did you know about all this? Just a minute. All of you knew about this, right? All of the Organon are involved in this? Did you really think you could just keep it a secret? Wait until Cletus hears about this. But you won't be telling him anything about it. You will be a good girl and wait here until the Prime Controller arrives. And then? What then? I am an Elysian, not one of his office clerks. How does he plan to assure my silence? Just you wait, Ms. Goal. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Holy smoke! A real Orbit Pixie! I bet she'll be pretty thankful once I've rescued her from the clutches of the Dark Exchequer. Let's go! Rufus to the rescue! Lover. You damned fool! How dare you mess with the plans of the Organon! Men, throw him overboard! <laughs> you need to catch me first, but I'm much too fast for you, see? First I'm here, and now I'm gone. Here, 
gone. I was so close, but no, the minute I see a beautiful damsel in distress, wham! Well, I guess that's just who I am. I'm simply a die-hard do-gooder. Hmm, locked. Huh. It can probably be opened from the inside. Oh, great. The rust bucket's dead, but the lock is still working. Toro! Hey, I said Toro! Huh. If anything, he seems even more bored now. Ah, oh, Miss Hinkle lost her dachshund. Well, I'm sure it'll turn up. I mean, there wasn't much kerosene in the turbine after all. What's going on here? I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since, since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax for the lack of political commitment. Hello, Hannock. Oh, hey, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Why aren't you working? You mean, why am I doing just the same as you? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan, that's why. Hey, I am very busy, actually. I've been running around all day, getting things done, and, uh, picking stuff up, and, 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 and things like that. Well... How about you find some new magnets for our detonation plan? Then we can finally continue work. How exactly does that detonation plan of yours work? Well, that's pretty exciting, actually. Yeah, I doubt it. The chief detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then he rings a bell. And I give a signal to the miner who will on his part prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. <sighs> and then you start with the exciting part? Um, no. That's it, actually. <laughs> I knew it. What exactly are you guys doing down there? What do you think? We are trash hunters. We search for useful trash. Most of the time, trash is just junk, and so pretty useless. For instance, I have a whole collection of car keys for cars that have been scrapped ages ago. Maybe you have my key, too. Mm, I don't know. What was your name again? Uh, Wenzel. Let me think. Wenzel, Wenzel, Wenzel. Nope, I don't think I got your key. Tony? Let me think. Tony, Tony, Tony. Nope, I don't think I got your key. Rufus? Let me think. 
Rufus, Rufus, Rufus. No, I don't think I got your key. Forget it. Done. Anything else? Is that your parrot? Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes in the mine shaft. Oh, what do you do when that happens? We get a new parrot. <laughs> I see. Uh, talk to you later. See you, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Hello. Hello, hello. Ah, I'm starving. I've eaten nothing but worms for days now. Ignore him. My wife sometimes talks to herself when she's down there. He must have picked that up from her. We can't meet anymore. Although my husband is almost deaf, his bird has quite good ears. Huh, this is a map of the trash tunnels. I'd better ask Hannock how this all works. Hey, why aren't you working? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan, that's why. Ah, Rufus. I thought you are on your way to Elysium. Have you come back to pay your tab? Oh, that. Oh, well, listen, Lonzo. I, uh, I planned to do that, but constructing an escape vehicle costs a lot, and, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, Rufus. No one here expected you to make it. Huh. Ah. Great. Thanks, I guess. What's that supposed to be? Is Lonzo building a cactus press? Or a faster mixer? Impossible. He would surely have asked me to help. Lonzo. Yeah? Long time no see, Lonzo. A long time indeed. Anything new? Hey, you know how Kuvac is. Nothing ever happens in Kuvac. Yep, without me, this place would be dead. Well, without you, there would be fewer explosions. I know that much. It must be pretty sad for all of you that I'll be gone soon. It's almost unbearable. Almost. How about a shot of that old worry be gone? Well, that depends. Will you ever pay me what you owe? Of course. I just need to get some money first. But you know that I'm always true to my word. <laughs> if you find a new word that makes you look less like a fraud. Well said, Lonzo. Well said. Tony really gets on my nerves. Well, that's your version. Wait, did she come here too? Someone had to pay for the table you broke yesterday. Yeah, that was an awesome performance, wasn't it? Look at me! I'm Tony! Scold, scold, scold! Wine! Fret, fight, scream! <laughs> yeah, I know. Perfect impression. <laughs> you won't believe what happened to me today. Yeah, you're probably right about that. So why don't you keep your story to yourself this time? But it's got everything. Action, drama, romance. Oh, a dragon, too. Uh, no. In that case, I'm not interested. Now that you mention it, yes, there really was a dragon. Too late. Damn. I have to go. Adventure awaits. You know how it is. Yeah, whatever. Hello again. Hey, uh, um, uh... Rufus? Exactly. About my key again. Again? Well, if you insist. What was your name again? Forget it. Duh! Anything?
Uh, see you, Rufus. Exactly. Please form a line, people. Draw a waiting... <clears throat> Draw a waiting number, and the mayor will see you in a short while. What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor is about to decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the dark exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story, too. Mine even has a dragon in it. So move to the back of the line and draw a number like everyone else. The mayor wants to decide what? Who will what? Give her shelter? Lotec thinks the girl should be um, integrated into our community. And someone has to nurse her back to health. I hope the mayor will choose me. She could give me a hand in the mud pits. Ever since I cut my fingertips while scrubbing rust, I tend to get infected cuticles. You want her to scrub rust for you? That's outrageous. Why? What do you want the girl for? Rufus? Rufus! Huh? Oh, what? The girl belongs to me. That'll be determined by the mayor. Well, how do I get to the mayor? That's easy. Take a number and stand at the end of the line. Couldn't you let me cut in? See, I'm in a bit of a hurry and... I see. Well, if that's the case... Do you want my chair? Shall we get you something to drink while you're waiting? We could bake a cake for you, too. Really? I like cactus cake, but no raisins. Thanks very much. And... Oh. I see. Crap. Now I'm hungry. No, really. Let me go first. Listen, Rufus. A minute ago, that was a nice little joke. But now, it's half annoying. And half sad. Where's the girl now? She's lying in the assembly hall. Dr. Gizmo is with her. They say she's unconscious. I hope she isn't injured. So do I. So do I. It's not easy stacking exhaust pipes with broken arms. Nice hats. Did I miss a trend or something? The roofer switched to making hats, because it hasn't rained for months. <laughs> I see. <laughs> and I'm sure the trousers are from the guy who used to make tarps, right? <laughs> hey, my wife made them for me. Well, thanks for nothing. I'll skedaddle. I hate lines. Number 66. Almost my lucky number. I'll skedaddle. Everyone, just one number! Spoil sport. Yeah, spoil sportress, I guess. Stop right there! Where do you think you're going? I'll go to Elysium with goal. In that case... You're in the wrong place! This door leads to the mayor's office, and access is strictly by numbers only! So draw a number, or bugger off! Hello, Lottie. You too. <clears throat> you too? Dear me, what a day. Where's the girl from Elysium? 
Princess Sugar. <clears throat> yeah, Princess Sugar Bottom. Oh, she's lying around in the assembly hall. Of course, I knew you came because of her. It's always the same. <clears throat> always the same. A beautiful young girl in a tight jumpsuit falls from the sky heavily injured, and immediately <laughs> everyone's falling over themselves to help her. Hussy. Hussy! I want to see the mayor. Everyone. <clears throat> Everyone does. Take a number and wait your turn. Can you make an exception and let me in before the others? It's your turn when you... your number comes up! No exceptions. Not even for me? Especially not for you! But the line isn't moving at all. Who's next anyway? Number 62. I think that's Wenzel. Wenzel is also applying? But Wenzel isn't even here. Well, it's his turn. Wenzel is up next. No exceptions! Is it my turn already? No. Number 62 is still up! Wenzel. Wenzel, exactly! I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. Although a lot of people will be glad to hear that. Me, for instance. That won't be possible today! The, <clears throat> the mayor is pretty busy at the moment. I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you! Stop right there! The post office. <coughs> the post office is closed until further notice. Until when? Until the sign says, then it's open! But there's no clock there. Very observant. And now... Get away from that door! Goal! I have to talk to her. She's got to know who her savior is. Rufus, do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. So, the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. What? Come on! Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. For further tests, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! <laughs> The coffee that can be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes, right, but... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. Hey, goal! Goal! Wakey-wakey! <laughs> Fast asleep. Very good diagnosis, Doctor. Oh, well, you know, it's just that I'm an expert in uh, <laughs> sleep. Dr. Gizmo? What now? Will she fully recover? She'd need to wake up first to be able to tell. Well, why don't you wake her up then? 
Well, it's not that easy. I've already tried every stimulant I could find in my medicine cabinet. None of those were strong enough. She needs something much, much stronger. Something much, much stronger. Hmm. Sounds like a job for me. I am much, much stronger after all. I will save her. Ha! Good luck. Did you bring some kind of miracle stimulant by any chance? Something that might wake her up? A kind of cup of coffee to the nth order? I'm working on it. Good. But do it someplace else. What can I do to wake her up again? Nothing, unless you had a miracle stimulant to wake her up. What are you waiting for? Help her! I would love to, but self-professed acquaintances of the patient are constantly interrupting me in my efforts. <laughs> self-professed acquaintances. That sounds funny. <laughs> self-professed acquaintances. <laughs> Think you can say that a thousand times in a row? <laughs> Why should I? I could even say get lost a thousand times in a row and you... I want to report an emergency. An emergency? What is it? I have this unusual pain in my back. You should rest in bed at home. So get lost. Fire! Impossible. My fire protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in fire protection sensors? Yes, ever since you turned eight years old, you little brat. That was my last birthday with my dad. I got a cake. I think I even remember the fireworks. I remember them too. Incredible how much you achieved with just eight candles. Robbery! Impossible. My theft protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in theft protection sensors? All emergency prevention tasks are united in one person, and that's me, as you very well know. A small village like Kuvac is just not big enough to have a doctor's practice, a fire department, and a police station separately. Or at least, that's what I thought. Ever since you turned eight, I'm not so sure about that anymore. No emergency. My bad. If you say so, it sounds too good to be true. Could you leave me alone with her for a moment? No. But... No. Bummer. Do you have a stimulant for me? To make you even more annoying? I don't think so. I've used up most of the stimulants on the patient, but to no avail. I still have some left in the medicine cabinet in my office, but no one except me is... We'll see about that. What was that? Uh, time for me to leave. That's what I keep telling you. Well, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Hmm. Not literally. Hey, goal. Goal. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Fast asleep. Very good diagnosis, doctor. Oh, well, you know, it's just that... I'm more. I'm more. What have we here? Does this happen to be a little present that could improve my position in the line? It's your turn. No, it's... Hmm. What have we here? Does this happen to be a little... It's your... No, it's... Hmm. What have we here? Does... It... Hmm. When is my turn? Oh, hmm. That'll be crap. Ah!
I don't need any. I'm ready. This is Wenzel's house. He'll be flabbergasted when he hears about my newest adventure. I bet he'll be pretty disgruntled. He'll start shaking and get crying fits. Why am I not as cool and daring as you, Rufus? <laughs> I also want to experience such great excitement. <laughs> but deep down in his heart, he knows that he just isn't cut out for this. He'll get seriously depressed. Oh boy, I really hope he's home. Wenzel! Hey, Rufus. Back already? That was really fast this time. Yeah, yeah. This time, I almost made it. Unfortunately, like so often, my human kindness got in my own way. Of course. That darn human kindness of yours. It's always getting into your way, right? Indeed. You never get anything done anymore. Well, there are just too many humans. They should all be... Drowned in the Red Rust Sea. Exactly. That darn human kindness. By the way, thanks for all your stuff. What? Wait, isn't that my chest? Well, you said I could have your stuff if your plan works out. But... And your plan did work out. You just said so yourself, didn't you? Yes, yes, but... but... Well, that's settled then. Have you heard about that woman from Elysium? Who hasn't? This wouldn't have anything to do with you, by any chance. Hey, you know me. Wherever there's a woman that needs rescuing, I'm there. You're right. There really does seem to be a connection. I was there when the girl fell from the sky. It's all right. I'm sure it was just an accident. No, you're getting this all wrong. I saved her. Of course you did. Don't you want to go to the town hall? To apply for giving shelter to the Elysian woman? The thought has crossed my mind. I even got a waiting number. But then I thought, what have I got to offer? Yeah, nothing. If I were rich or found a water vein, I might have a chance. But like this. How the hell did you manage to open the trunk? Well, all you have to do is disengage the childproof lock. But the only thing in there was this weird stick. That's my father's divining rod. You think so? Legend has it that it always brought him luck. He found the water vein Kuvak's built on with this very rod. Yeah, well if my father really always had that much luck, then why didn't he manage to take me along when he left Deponia? Eh, I haven't the slightest idea. Later. Exactly. Don't even think about it, Rufus. It's mine now. But it's a family heirloom. So? A gift is a gift. Boy, I can hardly wait to give it a try. Maybe I can find a well somewhere near. And once I'm rich... We'll split 50-50. <laughs> I might lend you the rod for a couple of hours. Don't even think about it. It's mine. But it's a family... So? Boy, maybe... And one... We'll split 50... <laughs> He wouldn't know what to do. He doesn't even know. This time, better do. This app must. He wouldn't know what to do. He doesn't even know what to do. <laughs> there are people who deserve that. I don't think so. I'm not throwing in the sponge. I'm more attractive.
If my impeccable sense of orientation doesn't fail me, I should be under the shower right now. The divining rod, eh, it obviously only detects clear water. Hey, that's my... Correct. Ouch! Hot! Ah! Fire in the inventory! Fire in the inventory! Whew. Wish I had some kind of protection suit. Although they're attractive... This sign deserves more attention. I mean, it's a cow and it's drinking beer. I don't see why I of all... I mean, Tony has much more experience with it. I don't like the direction this is taking at all. Ouch! Damn, that's hot! No way! An extreme chili needs an extreme fertilizer. Can still wreck it so I don't have to clean it. This doesn't have to be uh, <laughs> waited on, but a boom. <laughs> I can still recognize what it is, so I don't have to clean it. I can still wreck so. I'm not sticking my hand in there again. Luckily, I'm a gifted lock picker. Damn, that would have been a piece of kit. Never! My inventory could burn! And Tony is not gonna... I'll have to stick the... F hmm. The funnel would make an excellent blowpipe. The arrow is missing a certain something, though. Oh, there must be an easier way to get to the... Put the funnel to the tunnel, my dad used to say. I wonder if this is the situation he might have referred to. Hello? I want to report a crime. Hello? 
great. Inspector Gizmo seems to be out. But as soon as you accidentally drop the town elder's cane in the cesspool, he's right behind you. Uh, I'll give it another try later. Looks like Tony's in her store. If I go in now, her taunting remarks will shower down on me like a hailstorm. Ah, uh, well, what the heck. Let's get this over with. Well, 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 look who's back. If it isn't Evil Knievel, the man who defied gravity, the conqueror of the sky, the wind jockey, the traveler on his way to the upper spheres, and yet... Here he stands, right in front of me. Who'd have thought? Believe it or not, this time I really made it. I was on board an Organon cruiser. Its destination, Elysium. And then the longing for me became too much to bear. I had to choose a life of eternal bliss, which means far away from you, or saving a beautiful Elysian girl from a horrible death. <laughs> yeah, right. Rufus is doing a selfless deed. I would love to laugh but my belly's still aching from when you were dragged through the junk. I'll show you. I'll wake the girl, and she'll take me to Elysium, and then you'll be sorry. You'll all be sorry. How's business? Like, uh, when did that interest you ever? Who says I take an interest? I'm just being extremely polite. <laughs> First and foremost, you have an extremely distorted view of yourself. Oh, that's because my reflection in the mirror is so blindingly bright. Ugh! Why so cranky? Why? You have destroyed my mailbox, devastated my backyard, gobbled down all my food supplies, and if I find out that the disappearance of my favorite pair of boots is connected in any way to the construction of your ridiculous escape pod, may God have mercy on your soul. I had to carry the black powder in some kind of vessel, didn't I? What? Uh, nothing. I'd like to buy something. With what? Or did you get a job recently that I don't know anything about? Well, I'll pay you back. Really? Oh! I wanted to say goodbye before I leave this dump. New escape plans, have we? You are deluded. You'll never get out of here. Never, ever, ever. And that means I'll have you on my back for the rest of my life. What are those vouchers? They're gift vouchers. You hand them in at the post office, and they deliver the merchandise. Cool. I'll take them. Hey, hands off! What? They don't come free. I thought they were gift vouchers. Ugh. What was that again about the gift vouchers? They're gift vouchers. You hand them in at the post office, and they deliver the merchandise. And no, you can't have them as a gift. Then why are they called gift vouchers? The first aid cabinet is locked. What? Did you injure yourself again? Not yet. Too bad. You know what? Tell me when you have. I'll have a good long laugh, and then I'll give you the key. The first aid cabinet is locked. What? Not yet. Too You know what? I'll have... I've got to go. <sighs> but here... I'm more attractive. Hey, stop it! What exactly are you trying to pull off? I just thought it'd be good to take some of these mail-order coupons with me. Then I can use them to send all my friends on Deponia some uh, hooks and uh, lead weights, obviously, uh, just like it says on these vouchers. Okay. First of all, you don't have any friends. You are a self-centered egomaniac who doesn't give a bleep about anybody apart from himself. Besides, what makes you think you could just walk in here and take things from my store? Couldn't I just pay you later? Pay me later? Pay me later? How the heck are you going to pay me back, smartass? Or did you finally, after all these years, get a real job? Did you? Well, not exactly, but... Isn't it enough? That I still let you live at my place? That I still feed you? 
and I guess you think you're thanking me by letting me get rid of all the junk and garbage you produce every day. Why am I still putting up with this? I mean, really, why do I still do it? It's not like we're still... Oh, this sucks! My blood pressure! I have to meditate. Breathe in, breathe out. Um, hands off, um. All right, all right. Ah, ouch! Hey! Um, <laughs> um. Ouch! Look at that! Ah, <laughs> oh, such a tiny wound, and what a great pleasure. That is to say, wait a minute. You dirty rat. Did you try and steal hooks from me again? Tony, please, I'm bleeding to death here. If there was even the slightest bit of hope that you'll ever learn from your mistakes, I'd say, suit yourself. But unfortunately, you've proven once too often that you'll never learn. So here you go. Just take the key for the first aid kit and get out of my store. If you didn't nag all the time, maybe I'd be able to listen to what you're saying for a change. Just because Tony wants me to move out of the attic doesn't mean I have to move into a mouse hole. Hmm, locked. Tony must have... Tony's tranquilizer. Dr. Gizmo says it deals with the symptoms, not the cause. I wonder what he meant by that. Somebody seems to be hooked on hooks, but it's not me. I can still recognize what it is, so... No way! An extreme chili needs an ex Ah! Fire in the inventory! Oof. This brings water to the houses, or with fluid nitrogen, depending on the escape plan. Hey, go, wakey, wakey. <laughs> Fast asleep. Very good, Diag. Oh. Focus, Rufus. She can still help you with your experiments once she's awake. Gizmo never understood my philosophy regarding the redistribution of wealth, although it's fairly easy from everyone else to me. Dr. Gizmo, what now? 
I want to report an emergency. An emergency? What is it? Robbery! Impossible! My theft protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in theft? All of a small bar at least ever since... No emergency. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Mm. What have we here? Does this happen to be a little present that it's your turn? No. Mm. What have we here? Does this happen? It's your no. Mm. What have we here? Does this happen? It's your no. Mm. This could easily be a. Mm. All that's missing is some gas for the balloon. It doesn't have to be. Never! Antonio. It doesn't have to be. This reminds me of the firework. The plan with. It was, uh. That's no fun with empty. My first invention was a combined water balloon and stink bomb. <laughs> that's kind of obvious given the water quality around here, but still, you have to have the idea. Somebody seems to be hooked on hooks, but it's not me. Somebody seems, but it's not. Somebody seems to, but it's not me. Nope, this is the day of my departure. Just a second, it says bad luck Rufus on these balloons. No, no. Somebody, but it's not. The divining rod doesn't register. Eh, it obviously only detects clear water. I don't think so. I'm not throwing in the This ad must. This sign deserves more att I mean, and it's drinking beer. Nah, the only but. Never! My in- Antonio. It doesn't have to be. This ad is subliminally trying to make me use this item with it. Must. This is dull enough as it is. This ad is subliminal. Must. Never! Antonio. I'll have to stick the funnel into somewhere first. Oh, there must be an easier way to get to the black powder. Ah, there'll be time for chemical experiments later. What I need now are predictable results. This reminds me of the fireworks. The plan. It was. Uh... Never! Antonio. Never! And. Never, Antonio. That's not. Yeah, it. Don't even think of it's mine now. But it's a family. So, boy, maybe I can. And one will split. <laughs> he wouldn't know what. He doesn't even. The divining rod. Yeah, it obviously. He wouldn't know. He doesn't even. He wouldn't know. He doesn't. He wouldn't know. He doesn't. He wouldn't know. He the divining rod. Yeah.
I don't want to waste all of <laughs> If only the balloons weren't sagging so miserably, like Wenzel. This is dull enough as it is. I could open the hatch on the chimney with this hook if my arm was long enough. Put the funnel to the tunnel, my... I wonder if this is the... I don't think so. I'm not throwing... I don't need any... I'm ready... Toro! Hey, I said... <laughs> if anything, he seems even... Toro! Hey, I said... Toro! <laughs> Toro! <laughs> ah! Uh -huh. Brilliant idea, Rufus! What could a lonesome bull crave more than a well-chilled glass of Nat's piss? Okay, I'll use the cow. Main thing is that it worked. I can still hear Tony's laughter. I'll never try riding a... That's below my class. Toro! Uh, Toro! Uh, Toro! Uh, Toro! Uh, and, uh... This is one way how not to do it. <laughs> and today, children, Uncle Rufus will show you how to draw blood from a full-grown bull. And uh, this is one way how not to do it. <laughs> and... Uh, Toro! Uh, Toro! Uh, Toro! Uh, this doesn't better boom. <laughs> Toro, uh, Toro, uh, Toro, uh, <laughs> if you know the trick, you don't even have to use the lever in the cockpit. On the other hand, if you know the lever, you don't need any tricks. Luckily, I'm a gifted lock picker. Damn, that would have been a piece. Uh, how do I clear a windshield that's lost its see-through properties through a crust of dirt? Oh no. Ugh. Is this really necessary? Oh. The seats are covered in tasteless pink leatherette. A puppet is pirouetting in the corner, and on the driver's sign it says, Sugar Puff. <laughs> Stupid name. Ugh, the rust. Hello again. Hey, uh, um... Rufus? Exactly. Did you hear about the woman from Elysium? Yes, but I really don't care. I already have a woman I can send into the mine shaft. It's too narrow in there for two women. <laughs> Love must be such a wonderful thing. About my key again... Again? Well, if you insist. What was your name again? Sugar Puff. Sugar Puff? Hmm. Maybe I found your key, Sugar Puff. But I need to be sure it really belongs to you. What's your favorite color? Pink. Pink, you say? That sounds about right. And, uh, do you have a special hobby? I, uh... 
Love the ballet. Ah, bullseye! Then this must be your key. This must be your lucky day, Sugar Puff. Yeah, I'm so happy I could just explode. Really? I might have a one-time job for you down in the mine. Huh, the hood doesn't have a lock here. It can probably be opened from... Huh. <laughs> oh, I can't remove it. But how do I get access to the power that's harbored within them? I can't crack open the hull with this, but how do I get access to the power that's harbored within them? It's already open. I don't have to fill any. It seems like there's still enough juice in the battery. The question remains, how do I get to it? I don't have to fill anything. It seems like the question remains. I don't have to. F it seems. Nope. This is a sad day for Kuvac. The day of my departure. Just a second. It says bad luck Rufus on these balloons. I can't crack open them, but how do I get out? Oh yeah, love. Ha, nobody can say that I don't know anything about that now. I can still hear, I'll never, that's bull. Tara, uh, Tara. Uh. No reason to be alarmed. I've got everything under control. No reason to be I've got everything. No reason to be alarmed. I've got everything. No reason to be I've got everything. Hello? I want to report a crime. Hello? Great, Inspector Gizmo seems to be out. But as soon as you accidentally drop the town elder's cane in the cesspool, he's right behind you. Uh, I'll give it another try later. 